So as we think about, you know, those companies, remote monitoring companies, uh, you know, all of these different health innovators, um, do you have any, you know, wisdom or guidance for them as they just try to survive this season? And it, well, you know, it could be, I don't know. <laughs> I, I know, huh? It's, it's, it is so It depends on how you run your company and what you do with your capital, right? If you're capital efficient and you have yeah. capital, then the, the perhaps this is an obvious thing, but I'd say work on your product, right? This, I mean, one of the things that I've always criticized that industry for is that the products are never easy enough for mm-hmm. anybody. Mm-hmm. Never easy enough for the consumer, the patient, or the provider. So make something that's so easy that I don't have to think about it. Make it as easy as an iPad or as easy as that interface, right? That I can just pick it up and do it. Nobody's done that that I'm aware of. And so I would say everyone should be working on that who has, if they have capital and resources. Yeah. Um, Maybe you're not out selling, but let's, let's get the products better because they're a lot of them are, are, are designed by engineers for engineers, right? They need to be designed for people who are, not, who are afraid of technology. So yeah, definitely. that's one thought.